So I was having a look at some more historical builds to do in Minecraft to hopefully inspire you to get building. Welcome to the video, my name is Andy, and look at this, this is Skara Bray. It's in the Orkney Islands at the north of Scotland, the north part of the United Kingdom. This is an artist's impression of what the little roofs would look like on these houses which were embedded into middens, big piles of rubbish, and they would dig down into the rubbish and line it with bricks and stones and just make furniture out of stone and brick as well. So, and then cover it over maybe with some, um, I don't know, animal hides and things to kind of make the roof and the fireplaces and beds and so on. I thought it would lend itself to a Minecraft build, so let's get it done. So first of all, I used some special tools to kind of mark out where this would be in my little hillock that I found here, a little pile of grass that I found not far from my Kranach builds as well, and hopefully provide this as a download and you can explore it as well. So what is Scarabray? Well, it's a stone-built Neolithic settlement, which kind of means Iron Age, 5,000 years ago roughly, and they dug down into these big piles of rubbish called middens, and they made the little houses and they made the little paths. And I tell you what, this was quite hard work to do this. This was really quite an, an involved, tricky build. And yeah, a lot of hard... Was it hard work, though? Was it hard work, Andy? I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. What if you went back in time 5,000 years? <laughs> and you said to the people, Wow, you got a great house going on here. This is a great settlement. Absolutely amazing. I'm from the future. And in 5,000 years' time, this guy called Andy, and he is going to make a model of this to show people what it was like for you guys living, you know, 5,000 years in the future. And they were probably say, oh, cool. Uh, and, and yeah, and Andy's going to complain that it's hard work. Oh, is it really? Is it really hard work? Because do you have to lift big, heavy stones? Do you have to make stone slabs lie flat and put, uh, you know, a roof on things and kill lots of animals for the hides to make the roofs? No, no. What's the hard work involved here? I slightly moved my index finger on the mouse. That's what counts for hard work in 2018. <laughs> okay, you can see I'm digging down here into kind of cobblestone, which I've laid down in big clumps. And I'm just going to dig out the tunnels and dig out the rooms. Each room had little cells off it for maybe for toilets, because they had toilets and had a drainage system as well. Pretty impressive, actually. Kept themselves nice and clean. <laughs> I don't think they had ensuite showers, but they had little... Um, toilets as well and kind of an underground drainage system so you can see I'm just building away smoothing out the walls putting down different floorings experimenting with the co corridor widths and the room sort of sizes as well where can you find this this is in Orkney north tip of Scotland that is the islands off of the coast northern northernmost coast of Scotland and this place it's been called the Scottish Pompeii because it was kind of uncovered about 200 years ago in a big storm. People dug down and found out, wow, a Neolithic settlement down here. There was lots of stone objects, like stone bed frames and stone, like almost like a dresser as well, like a shelf, stone shelves. Everything was kind of stone. I don't think they had much wood. So they probably, in their fires, they probably burned things like peat. Although maybe more like um, kelp, which is like kind of a seaweed as well. And they probably burned animal dung as well, so it might not have smelt so good. Okay, the next stage I did was to just put on little roofs, and I made it out of just brown wool or brown clay. I think that was brown wool. I go into different colours of wool as well, just to kind of represent. Here's an entrance, an entrance in as well. And I'll just flesh that out with some podzo and some coarse dirt on the bottom. So if you're trying a, a project like this, I've used loads of cobblestone. And you can see I've put other types of stone in as well, like andesite and granite as well, just to kind of mix up the types of stone, using a nice yellow to represent the roof. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is kind of just uh, furnish one of these rooms and I'm going to make a little cell which is going to be in the corner for a little toilet and a, a kind of a stone bed. <laughs> and there's some evidence that they had kind of pillars at the ends of the beds where they probably put some uprights and had some sort of overhanging um, animal hides just to keep the heat in, keep the warmth in. Nice big fire pits in the middle of each little domicile, each little kind of cubicle house as well and these big stone kind of dressers and boxes and things they would just build out of big slabs and flat stones of course it's minecraft it's a bit of a, a compromise a big thank you to all the people who helped me build this i'm going to show you their names in just a few seconds time but we had a lot of fun building little fire pits and cauldrons and beds and putting lots of stone furniture in as well. And if you want to take on a project like this, don't forget it's hard work with your little button finger. 
<laughs> but not as much hard work as it was 5,000 years ago. Scara Bray. Um, they probably had an extra house on top, which I didn't um, excavate, like a non-underground house in which lots of animal bones were found, and that was probably, probably used for skinning and preparing animals, things like that, processing, gutting animals and, and preparing their skins and so on. I didn't do that, but you could easily put down one of my Iron Age roundhouses. If you search Iron Age roundhouse on my channel, you'll easily find one of them. So I hope you're impressed with this kind of build. Uh, as I say, it did take us absolutely ages. And we're going to go for a little first person wander around and I'm going to take you through the tunnels in just a couple of minutes time. It's going to finish off the time lapse here, putting lots of frames up as well and putting extra uh, roofs on as well. Lots of bones were found, fish bones and shells and limpet shells. Lots of fish bait probably, the limpets, probably not very good to eat, but you would use them as fish bait. And would, these th kind of things would be kept in stone boxes formed from thin slabs with joints carefully sealed with clay to get them uh, nice and waterproof. So there's lots of uh, contested theories about who lived here. Was it kind of druids? Was it religious people? Was it just kind of a big family? Uh, why did they do this? Was it nice and warm, kind of underground with a fire and a roof on top? I think it'd be pretty warm as well. Don't forget Orkney, very exposed islands north of Scotland, lots of heavy winds and storms occasionally but there we go okay i think it's time to dive down in for a little first person look Alrighty, here we go let's have a look inside this place not bad huh they would probably kept sheeps and pigs and things like that and cattle up here so if you were going to do this you could add some sheep pens and cattle pens and whatnot up there but i haven't done that as as i told you it was a lot of hard work you know a lot of hard work pressing these buttons so let's turn right we'll go along into here i've put these kind of um, things up here. I have no idea what it was like inside and probably a lot of the wooden supports would have rotted away So we've, we've actually got no idea what they were like inside. But anyway, as you can see, we've got a big nice big fire <laughs> It's maybe a little bit huge <laughs> Maybe a kid's bed here and have a like an adult's bed here This one's lacking a little bit of detail actually what I was doing um, with these was just putting in some some things like that to represent the um, the animal hides that would have been used, maybe a little bit of privacy as well with some of these barriers and um, what do you call these things? <laughs> Lime banners, that's it, not barriers, banners. And here's like a special box or something in there with all your goods stored away. So that's pretty much what I've done in, or we've done, in all of these places. And there's a little room back here as well, lots more stone, everything's made of stone. <laughs> everything's made of stone, that's all they had. They couldn't make lots of things out of wood. It'd be a bit difficult as well. But stone, once it's in place, it kind of just stays there. Let's go out the door again. Let me show you some of the people who helped me build this. Then I'm going to go in the back door and have a look at that. So I put their names on signs over here. So big thank you and shout out to 18 Shula, Fred0508, JD Bendy, and Vortex0508. If I've missed anybody, I'm really sorry. Let me know in the comments. So um, this kind of tunnel here happened naturally as, as I was building. This just kind of opened up this tunnel, so I thought I would use it as well. Got some little furnaces there, I'm not too sure why. Um, but you can see I've put different colored uh, stones in the walls as well. And every room is fairly similar. Stone furniture, a representation really of of um, Scarabray. And I've also made some little cubicles as well where you'd have maybe a toilet as well. So it's very easy to get lost in here actually. So I'll just show you another couple of spaces and rooms as you can see uh, this one has yet to be furnished <laughs> we actually just completely forgot honestly we thought we'd done it <laughs> oh well <laughs> we haven't done that if you download it i guess you could uh, furnish that there must be one down here as well yeah very dark you can see closed in not much light in these places i thought i had some more torches on the walls but um here we go maybe just show you one more we've got this one as well nice big room lots of stone furniture Maybe a big pile of, or bucket of guts there <laughs> with a red glazed terracotta. And there's the beds, nice and cosy. Um, I think it'd be pretty warm in here. And I think you could, you, you'd have some privacy as well. Maybe a little toilet in there as well. Well, let's just fly out of the roof like some smoke from their fire and say goodbye to Scarabray and say thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you so much at home for watching this and hopefully you've been inspired to go about building your own Neolithic settlement. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you.